Hi, welcome to the galley. I'm Black Mission Figs Yum. So it is um, pretty windy and rainy today. We're um, kind of taking it easy. The boat is sitting high in the water. I'll take you outside and show you. It is the day after Her Hurricane Adelia hit and we had a lot of wind and rain and lightning and stuff last night. And um, so it's just kind of rainy and windy today. Billy's working on a project downstairs that's um getting you a bit um what's that project getting you a little um upset frustrated it's like a wife <laughs> oh thank you so anyway what i thought was i had these black mission figs that i found the other day just love figs billy and i both love figs i've got some goat cheese i've got some puff pastry so let's get creative and create a tart so I am um, taking notes because I am kind of uh, making this up. So I always take notes as I go. So um, I know what I want to change or fix, but you want to make a tart with me? So I want to do um, a little simple syrup for this. I'm going to do an orange and rosemary simple syrup. I just want a little bit. So I'm just going to do half a cup of sugar but I really want this to be a, a very thick syrup so I'm only going to do a quarter cup of water and then I have some fresh rosemary sprigs and I'm just going to break that up and drop that in and then I have an orange and I'm just going to take the Pith off of that and right into my simple syrup. And I'm going to bring this to a boil. I want to make sure all that sugar gets dissolved. And then I'm going to let this seat for 15 to 20 minutes. Now I thought I would use my cast iron muffin tin to make these in and make individual ones. And I'm just torn between do I want to make like a, a rustic one big tart or do I want to make individuals and definitely more work for the individual ones and a lot less work if we just do one big rustic one that really smells good so you can see we're at a nice rolling boil here you can see it's already kind of thick. So I'm just going to turn this off and just let all of this sit and steep so that all of those flavors can get infused into this simple syrup. So I try to always have one box of puff pastry in the fridge and I'm thinking I don't want to roll this out. I'm thinking let's just leave it nice and thick and fat and let's get a cutter I think that this one should do it. And let's see how that fits in my pan. So then that fits really nicely in my pan. So we got pretty lucky. I think with that uh, storm coming through, wind, lightning, but where we are here was really pretty mild. So I think we got uh, very lucky. So that's going to give us 11 tarts. And I think it's funny that the cast iron muffin tin is 11 instead of 12. Isn't that funny though? But we're going to have 11 and then we still have a little bit of pastry. So, you know, we might do two. We might, if we have enough filling, make a rustic tart and the little individuals. So I'm going to chop a little rosemary to put in with my filling mixture. And just a rough chop, let the food processor do the rest. So, 
that was about one small fig one small sprig of fresh rosemary and then I have um, some goat cheese And then I'm gonna strain a little of that syrup in there. Look at, can you see how beautiful that color is? So I'm just gonna do a little bit of that syrup in there. I've got that half of that orange, or that orange. Um, I'm gonna do maybe not half of it. I don't want this too liquid. So I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit of that orange in there. Give this some salt and pepper. Now let's give this a nice blend. Okay, that's, that's pretty tasty. I think we can go a little more orange. I think it can be loosened up just a little. syrup so I'm just gonna leave that in there I'm gonna set that aside I'm gonna strain my simple syrup into a squeeze bottle so I'm gonna get my oven heating and I'm gonna heat this on a 400 degrees I want this to go in at a hot oven Let's get that heating and we'll get our simple syrup into a squeeze bottle. And next comes deciding what to do with our figs. They're, you know, a decent normal size. You, we could go and stick it in which I kind of like or do slices and just do a slice on top I think because they're individual and a little bit smaller let's go slices I think slices are going to be the ticket here and I think I'm going to put this in a bag so we can Pipe it in there. I think that's gonna be the easiest way to get it in there. And that way, if you pipe it, you get it more uniform and even. So I'm just going to, in the bottom here, and not a lot, it doesn't need a lot, just a little dollop right in the center. Next we want to slice these beautiful figs and we're gonna just push them right down in there. And then these little end pieces, you just eat them. So we'll push these right down in here. Are they looking pretty? Next, before we go in the oven, our syrup. And I want to just drizzle this syrup across the top. And now I've decided to sprinkle a little of my Demerara sugar on it. And that is just a really nice 
pure cane sugar that is very minimally processed. So it still has that lovely color because it still holds on to a lot of its molasses. So I'm just gonna sprinkle the tops. So I'm gonna pop these in the oven. Again, I set it for 400 degrees. And I'm thinking about 20 minutes. I'm gonna set my timer for 15 minutes to have a peek at them. But I'm thinking it's gonna be 20 minutes. So pop these in the oven, clean up the galley, and then we'll be back when they come out of the oven. All right, so I didn't make it to the dishes yet because I had an idea. And I still have figs. I still have a piece of pastry. I still have my syrup. I went spelunking in the freezer and I found some brie. So let's make a rustic tart with this. All right, so I've got that little bit of pastry left. And I think what I will do is just drizzle some of that syrup that we made. And then I'm gonna see if I can cut this brie. It's frozen, so. Look how nice that lays on there. I think this is going to be delicious too. I'm definitely a fan of all cheeses. I think one more. So it's nice when it's frozen that, uh, Ryan comes right off of there. All right. Now let's slice some figs to put on top of there. So I'm just gonna sprinkle this rosemary hole like this. This is a rustic tart. Let's keep it rustic. And if you didn't have rosemary but had thyme, I think for both of these tarts, time would be a good substitute. All right, so then we have our syrup that we're gonna put over the top. Doesn't that look beautiful? And of course, since we've got it out, let's sprinkle a little bit more of, ooh. That Demerara sugar, I um, almost spilled that in the floor. All right, so now we're just gonna start folding our pastry over. And again, this is rustic, so it can look beautiful and rustic. It doesn't have to be uniform. How pretty. I'm so excited about this. I think this looks beautiful. So let's give that a egg wash. And then so not to waste, I'll just make scrambled eggs tomorrow. We'll throw that in there. And then I think on that pastry, I'm gonna do just a little more of that 
Dip a lot of sugar on there. All right, let's. Ooh, these are looking pretty. All right, let's. I don't know if I can fit both of these in there, but let's have a peek and see. <laughs> they look puffed. I'm gonna do the dishes while those bake and I'll see you in a minute. I think we made popovers. <laughs> now our little tart, he's like perfect. I think he might be the keeper of the day. I think these look like kind of popovers. So there, here's the interesting thing when you are developing recipes and you do this and you think, you know, maybe I should have rolled it out thin and not left it at its thickest because this is what happened. And although I think this is gonna be delicious, I'm not really sure that it could be called a tart, but they look yummy. And then we have one that kind of turned over on itself and when you're the chef, you always eat the ugly ones, serve, serve the pretty ones. But while these cool down for just a minute, I wanna give them a minute to cool down before I try to pop them out of here. Let me go show you how far away from the dock the boat is because of the wind pushing us. And this is our windy, dreary day today. I think we've been very lucky not getting um, too much rain and wind. Definitely windy. You see the uh, he's generating some electricity there. But just look how far away we are from the dock. So. All right, so let's these little beauties out. It's so cute. I think it's too hot to handle. Why are you too hot to touch now, baby? I don't know how I can get it up there. It's so hot. <laughs> but it is pretty. Nice and pretty brown on the bottom. Crispy on the bottom. And on this one, you can see the layers and that puff pastry on the different layers, make it light and airy. And I'm kind of wondering if the ones that did better are the ones I pushed in further, and I, I kind of think that's probably the case. I think the ones that ended up doing like this, I didn't push them down in as much. So I'm gonna let these cool. They are just a little too hot yet to try to bite into and I don't think we're done down here I think we're getting close y'all this is beautiful nah he's a he needs a little bit more a little bit more time I can't wait I'm excited to try I think my excitement is getting or I don't know if I can wait for them to cool. Now, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm still gonna put this recipe on the website because I think it's gonna be delicious. And here is the changes I think I'm gonna make because you saw how thin, or you see how thin the fig got? I'm gonna go with the half. I'm gonna do half a fig for sure. And I think I'm gonna roll out my pastry so it's not quite as thick. But you can still do this because I think you're gonna like it with either phyllo dough or puff pastry or with a pie crust. But definitely, those are my two changes. I would definitely up the fig, half a fig. I'm so excited. Mmm.
<laughs> it is delicious. I should wait a minute. It is hot. It is a combination of savory with that rosemary and then and sweet and there is nothing oversweet about this. It is not oversweet at all. Light flaky pastry is a winner. But remember, when you make them, do a half a fig and maybe roll out your pastry a little bit. Now, you know what? I just had an idea. I saw my burger. Another idea, if you take a little bit of that Demerara sugar and put it over the top. And then we can brulee the top of that. Oh, it's quite the, quite the flame we had there. Oh yeah. We'll call them smoking tarts. I look at that. We should definitely add that. We should definitely add a brulee top, don't you think? Billy, I know you think we should, don't you, honey? Of course. He doesn't have a clue what I'm saying. That was great. That was inspiration there. My torch was out and I saw it. The sugar was out. It was meant to be. And then we'll have to... We'll have to give Billy one to taste. No, never! <laughs> I don't want to be a guinea pig! He does. No, never! All right, let's take a peek. Oh. Y'all, look at that. Beautiful. Yep, I think it looks done. Oh. You see that melty? Oh, that brie is just gonna be amazing. Let's see if this is cool enough to get to Sir Billy. Hey, baby. No, never me. I don't want to die. It's got a fig. Okay. <laughs> it's a little warm. Be careful. <laughs> it tastes like more. Makes the, you want more? more I get it, the more I want it. <laughs> Y'all, I'm dying to eat. Try it. Uh, I just want you to have a close-up look. Isn't that beautiful? This is going to be our winner today. I have to title this video, How I Created the Fig and Brie Tart. It's just going to be too hot. Should we brulee the top of that one too? Let's do it. Let's brulee the top of that one too. Those uh, rosemary twigs. <laughs> it smells like a campfire. I think we just have to go for it hot. I don't think I can wait. Oh, 
Oh, do you see? Do you see that brain just oozing out of there? Oh. Mmm, this is so good to burn my mouth. I don't think I care. He'll be up. Goat cheese, orange, rosemary, or brie, orange, rosemary, with figs in puff pastry. Whether they be rounds or this beautiful rustic tart that I'm also excited about. I hope you had fun playing in the gallery with me today and experimenting with these. If you come up with a name for these pretty little rounds, <laughs> you let me know. And I hope that you make this because I can tell you it's going to be delicious. Oh. Mmm. Delicious. Mmm. That brie and that crunchy sugar where I brulee it on top. I'm in love with this. Thank you so much for playing with me in the galley today on this rainy day, experimenting, developing recipes, just having fun. At least for me, it's fun. And I just hope that everybody that was in the the path of this storm is safe and continues to stay safe. Prayers for everybody. Stay safe in the storm and thanks for being here. I'll see you soon. Until next time, safe cruising. That was yummy, huh? Yummy to the little dummy.